it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. You know, these readings, they tend to play out when they're meant to play out. And you know, this eclipse energy can last, you know, up to six months. But I generally think my readings play out within a few days up to a week. That's how it tends to be. And that's what I hear from my viewers as well. Um, so let's just see what comes up. And I just, you know, I picked this deck up and I picked up another deck and I just keep going back to this deck. And this deck is, is very interesting and I, I keep being drawn to it. It just, it's, it's very deep. It's very, very deep. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and use it. Four of Swords. Four of Swords. Now the Four of Swords, it looks like we have a graveyard here. Okay? It does. I mean, it does look like we have a graveyard. Contemplation thinking is, what do I do? How do I leave this all behind? What do I do next? It feels like somebody has died. And this person is thinking about the challenges of head, thinking about what the next step is. Now, this is the death of an idea or a person, the Four of Swords. It's a need to reflect, a need to uh, decide what's, what's going to happen next. So, and you can only do that through you know, contemplation through, uh, isolation perhaps. So I feel like, I feel like there's, there's something that has ended or is about to end that is going to cause somebody the need to, uh, probably be alone and, and heal, heal from this loss, whatever this loss is, whatever happens, it feels like it's, um, it's going to make a person feel very alone it's going to make a pe person think. It's really going to bring a person into deep thought as to, you know, where do I want my life to go? You know, it's, it's really going to give this person a serious awakening. Okay. This is a wake up call. It, it may even be a shock because and it may shock the system to the point where, you know, you have to, uh, it causes, it doesn't mean that you have to, it's like it causes you to really think, think about your own life. So I think that something is, has died or is going to die that is going to put somebody in a state of, you know, change. Okay. Four is about foundations. So yes, there is going to be a change in a foundation. Um, the Empress reversed. Now this could even be the loss of a child. I hate to say that, but the Empress re Empress is a mother and it's reversed. Somebody could, I mean, everybody is somebody's child, right? And, and this could even go back to your inner child. Okay. Maybe you, maybe you need to heal your inner child. Okay. Maybe, maybe you weren't mothered as a child and you need to take care of yourself. All right. The Empress is, is a mother that is not a good mother, or this is a lack of a mother or it's an absent mother. The Empress reversed. Okay. I got this thing so tight. I can't even, there we go. So yeah, we have an absent mother here. Um, this person um, didn't nurture, didn't take care of business, wasn't there, wasn't around, um, didn't put her children first, didn't put her child first or children, um, was selfish, was probably had lots of men or didn't, uh, or there wasn't a father around, didn't put herself well, didn't see herself as worthy. She may have had addictions. She was selfish. She um, did it was poor, not healthy. So there is a mother here that isn't healthy. Um, 
And this could even be the death of a, I don't know what, but it could be, who knows what it is. But it doesn't, um, there's a loss. It could be a loss of a child or a loss of a mother. You know, a loss of a mother's love, period. Okay? Perhaps somebody wasn't loved by their mother or they lacked love. Okay? And that can make you feel dead inside. This person feels dead inside, feels empty inside, okay? So whether it's a loss of a child or a loss of a mother, you know, somebody's feeling empty and dead inside and there's a need to heal, okay? Whether it's healing healing your you yourself as an adult or healing your inner child, being that mother that you never had. How you do that is you take that inner child, you see yourself when you were 10, okay? You, you picture yourself when you were 10. And maybe I should do a video on this, on healing your inner child. You picture yourself when you were 10 and you, and, you, and you really, you see yourself. You remember back when you were 10 and you take that little child by the hand, okay? And you tell that child that you love her or, or him. You love that child and you, you guide that child. You be that child's mother from here on out in every action that you make. For the rest of your life, you honor that child. You be that child's parent that was lacking. Okay? You be the parent. But we're not going to... I could do a video on this. But we're not going to. So, um... And I know how to do this because I've had to do it myself. And a lot of people don't know that about me. But we have somebody here that was lacking a, a mother. Or lacking a motherly figure. And now they need to heal. Two of Pentacles reversed. Now the Two of Pentacles reversed is poor decisions, poor choices, uh, lacking balance, lacking organization, feel somebody feeling overwhelmed, somebody that is overextending themselves, biting off more than they can chew. Um trying to do too much this is like falling down being inflexible hmm. oh, the hair of font reversed this is uh, being controlled by a father figure. This is somebody who lacks faith that is not awakened, that needs to wake up. This is somebody that doesn't believe in a higher power or has no faith in a higher power or somebody that is governed by social pressure, right? This is your hair font reverse. This is having a hard time doing the right thing to do to society. So we have somebody here that may have been uh, controlled by a father figure. And, 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 and you could call this a father and a mother. Okay, it could be two parents. Okay, and but this is a loss, the two of pentacles reverse. So there's, there is some sort of loss here. Um, this, is, this is somebody that could be abusive. Uh, they abuse their power. It could be a father and a mother. It could be a father that abuses a mother that, that can't take care of her child. I don't know. It could go so many ways. But the Hierophant reversed is being disgraced, somebody that is not spiritual. Plus, this is a relationship that is not on the same page. These people could be married. We could have a we have, could have a married couple that are not on the same page. It is two of partnerships. We or it doesn't have to be a married couple. We definitely have partners here because of this two that are not on the same page. This person doesn't know their value. This person um, maybe. Um, wasn't taken care of when they were a child. You know how cycles tend to repeat themselves. But anyway, this person doesn't know their value, doesn't know their worth, and this person is abusing their power, okay? They're abusing their their ability to uh, take advantage of this person. This person doesn't even see it because neither, and neither one of these people are awakened, okay? They're not. But something is pro may happen, remember I said at the beginning, that causes these people to wake up they could have a serious uh, awakening of some sort because so they get there's some sort of loss here there's a loss of some sort okay something could could you know it could be a child it could be um, a parent it could be somebody that is close to them I don't know but there is definitely some loss that is going to happen or has happened but this hair font reversed this is um, this is definitely an abuse of power by a father figure or somebody in authority, okay? 
we have somebody here that um, maybe may have received some poor counsel, you know, and now they just can't do the right thing. You know, and they're disgraced because they went down the wrong path and now they've gotten in too deep. King of Wands reversed. We could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Taurus and Libra here uh, quite a bit as well. Because this is Taurus and this is Taurus and Libra. This is uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody who is very controlling, very uh, much wants to be the boss, wants to be in control, wants to be an authority. This person does not like losing control and losing the authoritative position. It really can abuse their power. This person has a hard time doing the right thing because they see themselves as the leader and, and when the lead is taking, taken away, they feel disgraced. So we do have somebody here that is feeling disgraced over um, an ending of some sort or a loss. This is egotistical. Somebody that is very egotistical and unreasonable. And this person has made some really poor choices. He may have gotten himself involved with a very selfish, jealous woman. Okay? Just saying. This is a very selfish, jealous woman who, you know, thinks that she is a princess. But she's not any better than anybody else. Okay? Um... We have the magician, manipulation. We have a high, high amount of, with, with these cards reversed, reversed, we have manipulation, seriously. We have manipulation here. This is the magician. The magician is about manipulation and control. Okay. Feels as though we have somebody here that is, is really trying to be in control, trying to have all the power. There's definitely been an abuse of power here. Somebody is, is really scheming up something because this person is a trickster. The magician is a trickster. He is very, very tricky. So somebody is, is scheming up a plan, you know, to uh, get exactly what they want. Okay. And they're willing to do things illegally to get what they want. So that's what we have here. We have somebody here that is, it looks like we have somebody here that is, is scheming up a plan to get what they want. Okay. Um, but they will not be successful because this world card is reversed. This is a lack of success. So yes, we do have somebody here that is, is being very tricky. They are very skilled at what they do. They do have experience. Okay. But they are not going to be successful in their, uh, Oh, what's the word for it? <clears throat> plan. Okay. They're definitely writing up a plan. They're coming up with a plan. But this is lack of success, lack of victory. And this person isn't going to uh, get the victory that they are thinking they are going to get. Whoever this manipulative person is. Um, something ends unsuccessfully. Put it that way. Five of Pentacles, this is abandonment. This is victim mentality. We have somebody here that um, may have some sort of addictions that are, are causing them to uh, fall behind. You know, they can't, they can't follow through. Maybe the, this person follows, makes a plan or comes up with a plan or joins in on something, but they can't follow through because they have addictions. They, you know, they fall victim to their, to them, to their selves. Um, Queen of Wands reversed. We have a nasty people here with the Queen of Wands reversed and the King of Wands reversed. We have a nasty couple and we do have a couple. I saw it up here. It's a husband and a wife or... A mother and a father, or a boyfriend and a girlfriend, or it's two people. Okay, we definitely have a couple of people here that are working together. They are scheming up a plan. These people are nasty, and they are definitely malicious with it being in the reverse. They are all about power and control, and they want they don't want to give away the power. They want to hold on to the power. They are feeling disgraced. Maybe they're feeling disgraced over a loss. 
that's what we do have here at exactly what we have here anyway um this 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 queen of wands in reverse this is somebody who is very vindictive childish weak okay she throws tantrums very self-righteous nasty jealous gossip liar revengeful manipulative controlling unhealthy and melodramatic so this person right here is is uh was willing to do anything anything to get her way so um but she won't be successful because she's impulsive and she doesn't plan well she she definitely doesn't plan she doesn't she doesn't make a goal she just thinks that she's so smart okay she she just she's she thinks that she's she, we have a know-it-all here so we have a know-it-all here that really thinks you know that she'll never get caught she can lie through through the skin of her teeth and and everybody nobody will see it Okay, that's this person right here. Very, very cunning. I, I'm so smart that nobody will see it. Well, I have to tell you, that's bullshit. Okay? That's bullshit. Um, this is all about holding on to stability. This We have somebody here that doesn't want to let go. They want They really are stubborn. They are, they are obsessed. Look how skinny this person is. We could have somebody that has an eating disorder here. <sighs> we do have somebody here that is absolutely obsessed with holding on to something. They're obsessed. We have one person that is, is obsessed. This person has addictions. This person may be an alcoholic. Can't really function. This person just wants to hold on. It's all about power and control. With these cards. That's all it's about. But what's going to happen? What is this four of swords? This this is this four of swords is a dead end. Okay, it's a dead end. This just jumped. King of Cups reverse. Now the King of Cups reverse is somebody that doesn't have good intentions, somebody that's not emotionally available, somebody that doesn't care. Doesn't it's the King of Cups in reverse is somebody's withdrawn, withdrawing from the situation. Closing themselves off. Not going to communicate. Knight of Cups reversed. I think it's a page. It says Knave. I'm going to go with the Page of Cups. Literally emotionally available. Somebody's going to shut down. Somebody is going to shut down emotionally. They are. It's like they're not. It's going to. It's Things are going to get emotional. Very emotional. They're not going to be able to master their emotions. Things are going to be... <clears throat> We have the Page of Cups and the King of Cups reverse. Something to do with a child, I believe. It's going to be very emotional with these. Somebody's not going to be able to master their emotions. There could be somebody's bubble may burst. Somebody has been obsessed with their image and there's definitely some childhood issues. We could have a drama queen here that has been rejected. There's been a lot of tears, and we, I, we they may deal with, they may come across somebody that doesn't care about their tears. It's like, huh, your tears aren't going to help you this time, honey. The star. The star, this is a card of, uh, you know, yesterday. Wasn't this yesterday? I saw this as the moon. But this, the star is a card of protection. It's a card of wish fulfillment. It's a card of hope and inspiration. It's a time of peace.
So it feels as though there is some sort of help that is arriving because the star is divine protection. It's a card of healing. It's a card of renewal. I feel like there's been some sort of unfinished business that needs, like somebody was left behind or somebody was abandoned. And now it's time to heal from those abandonment issues. And like I started this reading out, could we go all the way back to your own childhood. There's abandonment issues here. There is. There is. And it's a time of healing. It's a time of hope and a time of spiritual renewal. Something is dying or has died that is going to change your perception of life. I think it is going to be an emotional time. There is somebody that has abused their power and they may have even abused their children. Neglect is abuse. I feel like there's going to there's going to be a peaceful resolution in the near future. I do. I feel as though something is going to change almost by it's almost like it's a it's a magical change, right? It is. It's like there's a higher power stepping in to bring healing to this situation and it starts within you. So do I think this is a love reading? No. I think this is a heal yourself reading. And I think this healing comes because something dies. Good luck.